The following video is presented by EA Game Changers. Early access to this content is provided by EA and Fire Monkeys. <laughs> Welcome to Spooky Month, Spooky Month, because it is always Spooky Month in October, it is always Spooky Month, and Spooky Month is now populated Black Ridge City in Need for Speed No Limits, this is Need for Speed No Limits, all new update celebrating Spooky Month, and it features a bunch of spooky treats for your spooky selves, and that just makes no sense at all. So first and foremost, the sequel to Lights Camera Attraction is Frights Camera Attraction. <laughs> Get that play on words. So, Frights Camera Attraction, which introduces the McLaren 720S. Basically, we're doing all the stuff we did Lights cam Camera Attraction, but it's some, some sort of a um, mystery inducing racing film by the same guy that people kind of didn't understand <laughs> in, in the Lights Camera Attraction with the 4GT. Now, that's interesting because one. I've been waiting for McLaren 720S for a long time to see how fast it is and just all that stuff, but this one is pretty much on my wish list for this game, so that's one thing. Second thing, which I will introduce for you, we are getting license plates. Yes, and I will introduce more about that in the coming bit. And then our second is another prancing horse, the Ferrari 812 Superfast. That's pretty much one of the most powerful Ferraris in the world production for our region in the world. In terms of raw V12 power, this is the most powerful production car. Most powerful naturally aspirated production car in the world. This is earnable via proving grounds. So that's pretty much all the new stuff in this update. It is spooky. Okay, so everything is dials and spooky mist. First event is Fred's Camera Tracks and featured in McLaren's 120S and that's actually one of our newest cars in this game. I will show you the car now. Whoa! Look how high they are! This is the A12 super fast. It's interesting to have because look how high it is like compared to the Aventador and then the Jag and then you have the 720 which is right next to the Porsche 918 Spider, which should be interesting though because this is are pretty much two of the highest super class cars in the game and it should be interesting too because the McLaren 650S has been pretty much the best super class car in this game and now the 4 gt is pretty much one of the highest um pr ratings before this car but the mclaren 750 s has the highest pr rating once you tune it to the max then you have like up to eight or ten mechanical points now i have only two in this um preview build so i can't show you it maxed out but i can show you what it does at its maximum potential without the extra tuning points and once I get the car in my game, I will show you how it is maxed out with all 10 mechanical points that I have acquired. One of the reasons why I think it's interesting because the 650S is pretty much heavy, heavy on acceleration and nitro, which pretty much makes it one of the best cars in the game. And why I could compete up against like some of the high-end guys. Back when back when Black Ridge Rivals was a thing, um, I used to go like top 50 in the McLaren 650S with that, just going through. But passing through like all hypercar rivals and stuff like that which is why it's interesting because this has a slightly bigger engine than the 650s so it's still in mclaren so uh, hopefully this thing rocks or pretty much outdoes its um predecessor when tuned up to the max so i gotta find out how that does but that's for later that's interesting this is inter interesting too because uh, where's the Ferrari? The Ferrari is over here. So that's fast, but the other Ferrari is down there somewhere. The Onzo's there, and the 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 four five eight's there. So this is pretty much one seriously fast Ferrari, and this is going to be one interesting, so interesting thing to drive in this game. So in tuning something like that is also one thing, but that's cool. Can't really show you any underground railway stuff here. But let me see if I can go to mod shop and show you. I'll load my car up. Thank you. There it is, gold license plate. Look at this! So we got the stock license plate. Okay, we've got the underground rivals. We got. Oh, okay, that's awesome. That is seriously cool. Okay, so here's how this works. Okay. <clears throat> so I think the only one that I was like below a hundred. Um, and the underground rivals PR was pretty much the last event because I just didn't have time to so 
the game will give you two license plates one for um getting to rival tier that means getting s tier in all three divisions the driver division speedster division and breakneck division so getting the driver tier and all getting the rival tier in all three divisions will give you the standard license plate which is this now if you come to the top 1000 you get this special license plate now only available to those who have gotten to the top 1000 so those of you so if you've gotten to the top 1000 country mile the first one you get that one if you've gotten to the top 1000 in neon knights yep you get that one and you dump 1000 in underground right in um limit break you get that one and undertow i came in 330 something so i get that so Right now it's a gridlock, right? So if you get to 1,000 in top 1,000 in gridlock, you get this lovely license plate, and then it goes on and on. So we got Outlanders, which will get you that, and all the stuff in it. So once again, if you get to rival, if you get to rival tier, you get the special rival plate. But if you get to top 1,000 at the end of the event on Sunday night, you get the special elite license plate which you should heck you should get and they definitely have more with um they become upcoming underground rivals events so that's awesome i will definitely have fun with those so that's basically what's in this new awesome update remember first update first um, event features lights camera attraction then once you finish that um you will be able to access Proving grounds with the A12 super fast. By the way, this update is live right now on your um, iPhones and Android phones. So make sure you update via your App Store or Google Play Store to get all the latest action. So that's all I wanted to show you in this one update vid. Remember to keep it right here. I'm going to show you some gameplay featuring the McLaren 720S and the Ferrari A12 super fast. Now going back to those cars once again. Um, by customization device i'm pretty much sure that we will be able to touch this thing visually because it's ferrari and ferrari don't like us touching things visually now in terms of the mclaren though the mclaren 720s gt3 is a visible car we know what it looks like but since this is still a new car i don't think we'll be able to um visually customize it as such i know kind of sucks because you can obviously visually customize 650s not so much the P1 because the P1 is still a new car to them. So I don't think we'll be able to visually customize this. Probably we'll be able to extend the wing and stuff like that. But the, 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 air, the active arrow wing and stuff like that. But in terms of anything else, I'm pretty sure we won't be able to touch it. But I don't mind it because those rims are cool and this car looks awesome anyway. So that's all I wanted to show you. Um, everything is live now. So update your phones. It's all spooky. Anyway, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.